win. So. Reporters pushed through the front door to the two-bedroom apartment that was shared by Syed Rizwan Farouk and Tashfin Malik, revealing their domestic details live on TV. An uncashed check, the crib of their baby daughter. Good night stories from the Quran. Bedtime stories. A live shot from the wardrobe and close-ups on their computer, now without a hard drive, and a bin of shredded paper to one side. Authorities say there was an unsuccessful attempt to delete electronic information in the days before the attack, but most critically, they're reported to have discovered a Facebook posting written by Tashfin Malik pledging allegiance to the ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. Investigators from the outset understood that the mass shooting in San Bernardino might in fact be a deliberate act of terrorism. The killer's tactical appearance, their merciless, resolute violence toward innocent people gathered for a Christmas party. It was unspeakable, uh, the carnage that we were seeing, the number of people who were injured and unfortunately already dead, and the pure panic on the face of those individuals that were still in need and needing to be safe. Go, go, go. Police led hundreds to safety. Trying to relax, everyone, trying to relax. I'll take a bullet before you do, that's for damn sure. Just be cool, okay? Through the corridors, huddled nervously and silently with their colleagues, not knowing already 14 people were dead, murdered by their workmate, Syed Rizwan Farouk, together with his wife, Tashfin Malik. In their garage at home, police found a massive stockpile of nearly 5,000 rounds of ammunition and a dozen pipe bombs. ISIS has never claimed responsibility for the attack, but there's increasing evidence the pair who were killed by police within hours were self-radicalized and inspired by the group's jihadist agenda. Syed Farouk's sister says she could never have suspected her brother or his wife's plans. So many things I asked myself. I asked myself if I had called him that morning or the night before, asked him how he was doing, what he was up to. If I had any inclination, maybe I could have stopped it. I love this country. I love the people. And I felt responsible to, you know, go and tell this to the people. All the victims have now been named. Young and old, male and female, as diverse as the community they served, inspecting pools and restaurants, working as environmental health specialists for the county. Amen. They were remembered at a vigil in San Bernardino last night. The motivations of their killers less urgent there than the intensity of their families and friends' grief. Kylie Morris, Channel 4 News, Washington.